Hello there and welcome to today's class. For today, we're trying to look into an important aspect in mathematics known as set theorem. Right, let's dive into set theorem. What's set theorem by definition of a half? What's set? A set can be defined as a collection of well defined items. The item that contain a set of a house constitute a set are called the element of that set. It is important to note that a set are usually encased in a cone bracket. So I mean a cone bracket in this way. Um, cone bracket is what we refer to as a cone bracket. This man here. Yeah? So set has a specific bracket used right known as what a cone bracket how we understand the definition of, of set and the kind of um, bracket a set contain or perhaps used by a set when it's used by a set so it means that if i have a set a let's say i have a set a to be equal to two three four if i have it in this way this is not what this is not a set if i have a set a to be equal to two three four in this way this is not what this is not still a set so how do you represent a set we represent a set with what a cone bracket right a specific bracket called cone bracket so i have something of this nature and four something of this nature so this is what this is now a set so when it comes to sets, there is a specific bracket for sets. So this is set here. Alright, I want to understand this concept here. Let's dive into set notation. So any set notation. Set notation. Let's call set notation. Alright, by definition, Set notation refers to set representation. Any given set can be represented in two forms. One by listing and the other by set builder's notation. So I'm saying that set notation refers to set representation. So the way you represent sets refers to what? Set notation. And I'm saying that any given set can be represented in what? In two, in two forms. One is what? By listing, well, one that is by listing, and the other there is uh, by set builders notation. Number one is by listing, and the other is what? by set builders notation right so that is two form of set all right let us call by listing and by set user by set reader when we say by listing what do we mean when you say by set readers what do we mean let us call the first one there by listing by listing all right, let us cause by listing. This refers to writing out all the elements that contain a set. Example, given a set A of all vowels letter, given a set A of all vowels letter, in form of listing, in form of listing, it is written as so if I have a set A, right, of all vowel letter. Look up, I said by listing, it refers to writing out all the elements containing what a set. So I'm giving an example that a set A of all vowel letter in form of by listing. How is it written? So I have a set A to be equal to, I said all vowels letter. So let me start my vowel letter. So have A, E, I, O, 
you. These are what my role letter. So this is by listing. I listed out all the elements. That's the idea. When it comes to by listing, just what list out all the elements. That's all. Right? So let's discuss by set reader's notation. Right? Um, next one there. By set reader's notation. by set builders notation by set builders notation um, the idea here is very visible. it's quite simple this refers to representing a set by a proper description so when it comes to by set builders notation you are describing a set that's all describe the set that's like the idea all right let's say i'm an example this is an example here yeah? so given a set a such that set A contain all vowels letter. Contains all vowel letter. By set builders notation, it is written as by set builders notation is written as. So I'm saying that if I'm giving a set A of all vowel letter, how do you write it in set builders notation? It becomes a set A of what? All what the all vowels letter. Let's start with vowel letter, please. You know, several times what? A E I O U. This is by listing. By set readers, I said you know what? You are describing the set. So that becomes how do you describe it? You say uh, set A to be equal to X such that X is a vowel letter. That's all. So this is what is by um, set builders notation. You have described a set. So given a set A such that A is um, containing A contain all vowel letter. It um, um, writing it in form of set builders becomes sort of this nature. So you are describing the set. So A is equal to X such that X is a what vowel letter. Let me give you let us some some problem. Let's say I'm giving some problem. Let's say I'm giving the set P to be equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, um, 8, of a half, yes, 8. Let's say I'm giving this, this set here. This set is in form of what? Listing. They have listed this out for us. Now, I'll give a set in form of listing during the set builder's rotation. For this one now, what will be the set builder's rotation? We said when it comes to set builder, you are what describing the set. That's the condition there. So let me help me describe this one. What will be the, this one be? Um, of course, um, I can think you guys will be, be saying even number. Yes, it's an even number. But mind you, mind you, if I'm saying this is um, P is equal to X such that x is an even number true an even number but this even number it has a restriction this is 2 to 8 10 is even number 20 even number 100 even number 1 billion even number 1 quadrillion even number but when it comes to that i'm telling you a pro you are defining you are um, describing it what by proper description proper description so for this one now what will be the set with notation for this is become p is equal to x such that x is an even number even number less than 10. so look up for less than 10 um less than 10 let's say i have even number 2 4 6 8 10 right so less than 10 means i'm picking even number less than 10 that is, I'm not considering 10. Numbers less than 10 are 1, 2, 3, 4. Less than 10 are all this, which is what I'm having here. So when it comes to set builder, I'm describing the set by what? Proper description. So this is my first description for this set. Also note that when it comes to set builders, it is broad. So set builder is broad. I can define a set um, in one form and another form as if be correct. 
Let me give you the second description for this one here. I can describe this as saying P is equal to X such that X is um, an even number even number less than or equal to um, 8. Look up. Less than or equal to no, less than or equal to 8. This is still correct, right? If I'm saying less than, let's say I'm saying less than 8 first. It means all the number here before 8. Less than 8 is all this. But equal to, including 8. So if I'm saying less than or equal to 8, this means even number um, before 8 and including 8. Now I can see I get behind this less than and less than equal to, right? So this is how I have to describe this set here. Alright, I want to understand the concept behind set notation. Let's dive into type of set. Type of set. Let's discuss the type of set that we have. Type of set. Type of set. Number one, we have the empty set, empty set or null set. We call it empty set or null set. What are empty set? An empty set is simply a set that contains no elements. It is represented by an empty cooling bracket or pi. So it means that empty, empty set is represented, is represented by an empty cooling bracket or I'll use this symbol here, pi. This is pi, a Greek symbol called pi. So it means that I'm seeing a Greek a pi. It means that that set is what an empty set. Or perhaps if I'm seeing an empty cooling bracket, it simply means what? That set is what an empty set. So let me give an example of an empty set. Let's say I'm giving an um, example of a set of an empty set. Let me show you an example of an empty set. The question comes in this form, or perhaps um, listen to the question. Given a set A such that A contain a male with 15 leg. Look at that question. In this world, is there any male with 15 leg? No. It means that that set is what an empty set. Is what they an empty set. That's like the um, idea behind questions involving empty set. Let us call the second um, a method there called sorry the second type of set called um, single tone set. Single tone. Single tone set. Let us cause single tone set. What is a single tone set? From the word single, this is simply a set that contains just one element from the idea of single. So any set that contains just one element is called a single tone set. Example is that if I have a set A to be equal to three this way, this is what this is a what a single tone set. Why? It just it contains just what just one element in the set. Consider that. Um, note, note, note that, note that um, an empty set encased by a pi. Look up. What will you call this? What will you call this? You no, know, we said empty set. No, alone is what. Um, sorry. Only bracket alone is what an empty set. Pi alone, empty set. Or if they are combined in this case, what we call this? We call this what a single tone set, please. Call this what a single tone, tone set, please. Call it a single tone set, right? So that's like second type of set that we have. Let me third type of set called finite and non-finite set. Three. 
going to do that again. Let us call second type of third type of set and say that we have called finite and not finite set. This one here contains two definition. Let's have the first one called finite set. A finite set is a set that contains a restricted number of elements. This simply means that each number of elements can be counted, right? So if I'm giving a set, um, um, let's say I'm giving a set A. So let's say I'm giving a set A, um, something of this nature to be equal to 2, 3, 4, and 10 in this case here. Look at this. This is what? This is four elements here. Number one, it can be counted. That's the condition for finite set. This set here contains what? A restricted number of elements and it can be counted. So whenever a set can be counted, it is set to be what? The set we got finite set. So this is a finite set. Why? Because its element here can be counted. It is obvious. This is one, two, three, four, four elements. This is what a finite set. When it comes to non-finite set, hold on. A non-finite set is a set whose number of elements cannot be counted. Example there. Example, a set A of all positive even number. Example, a set A of all possible even number. Now look up. If I want to write that set now, that one I, the person I read out for you now. If I want to write the set A of all if possible positive even number. If I start from here, from home, I will end with 1000. I will clean the board, I will still continue. I will move to 1000, 1 trillion, 1 quadrillion, 1 billion. It continues. If this board will fall 10 times, I'm not sit down. So that will cause what the a non finite set. I can't count all the sets. Now, notice that, notice that for a non finite set, three dots are used to show that they continue. So, how do, I, how do you identify a finite set and a non finite set? For a finite set, you can count the element. For a non finite set, um, this, this is what you need to check out for. Three dots are used to show what that they continue. I gave you an example now that a set A of all positive even number. So write that one in form in in form of non-finite set becomes something of this nature. A set A of what all positive even number. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Three dots are used to show that what they what they continue. This is what an example of non finite set so i it, if i say something like this it means that this was this thing continues it continues so because what a non finite set as in this case here let us cause the first the fourth type of set that we have called subset and superset right number four subset and super Set. Let's discuss the fourth type of set that we have. What is a subset? What is a superset? Definition, let's have a subset. Given a set A and B, given a set A and B such that all the elements in B can be found in A. Hence, B become the subset of A. Hence, B become the subset of A, which is written as, which is written as B um, subset of A. This is simple for subset. So we have seen um, this. This means B is the word subset of A. Why? Because all the elements in B can be found in A. That's why B is a what subset of A. Um, for the superset, for a superset, for a superset, the idea, is quite, the idea is quite simple. If all the elements in B are contained in A, it means that what B is subset of A. So for an overview, or perhaps biological extension. A 
becomes what? The superset of B, written as this. This is a superset. Right? So it means that A is like superset. It means all the elements in B can be found in A. Right? So let's like the idea behind subset and supersets. What you need to note here is that the symbol. This is a subset. This is a what they have. The left hand curve is a subset of a half. Sorry. Sorry, this is superset, sorry. Superset, please. So a subset of a left hand curve. A superset, what the a right hand curve, as in this case here. So let's take an example to understand the um, difference between subsets and supersets, or to understand the concept of the work, right? The question says, given a set A and B, given a set A and B such that A is equal to um, 2, 3, 5, 7, and B and Elements B, okay, half, sorry, sets B contain, uh, let's say, 3, 7, right? 3, 7, 3 and 7. Find, find, okay, half, okay, okay. All right, give me set A and B as this. Observe that all the elements in B, 3 and 7, can be found in A, 3 and 7. So all the elements they can find in A, in this case, now it means that B is a what? Is a superset of A. This is how it works. So B is a what? A superset of A. This is how this works, right? That's like there behind subset and superset. This is called the next concept, the next type of set that we have called the parset, right? the past set.